Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? It's TK and on today's video, I'm going to showcase the Super Barge after the update where Root Riders got a nerf, Super Archers got a nerf and Super Barbarians got a nerf. So we're going to see if this strategy is still viable. So without any further ado, let's go. We are here on this diamond base. Now, one thing you need to notice, guys, and that is going to be the first tip I'm going to give you, is that you actually can never land on a bomb tower anymore because your archers will immediately die. doesn't matter if there is a small bomb or not. Simple as that. So make sure you take that note, all right? Now, let me actually put this away so we can do all the right things later. We're going to go ahead with some rocket loons and the blimps straight through the middle. But look at this. We have a titan. Now, I did this for you because look this place that is where a lot of you will drop one archer before you start your attack but guess what what happens is that once you do that the titan when it's coming down to kill your loons but your blimp is surpassing the titan that means the titan will then go up so that's why i'm dropping these barbarians so the titan doesn't go to the archer i have dropped so i'm showing you when you drop this barb the titan will then keep coming down and you need to kill the titan here right here if you don't do it it will go up so take that in note that's why on the video that i did with the super archer guide i told you do not drop this one archer early in your attack unless you're landing like kind of close but not really close to the cc there is a difference now i'm going to use this titan actually watching to see which side he's going to go then i'm going to drop a root rider so it comes out of that compartment and emerge with my army now the good thing about this space is that it actually has a lot of buildings to decide so you need to funnel a lot plus look at this little wall gap right here you cannot have access to the town hall. If there's a Tesla here and here, your root riders will actually keep going around it. That's why you can see how the base building and the trap placement could be. You know, of course, right now, my king and queen both went out. It's been a while that I haven't done this strategy. I'm doing Sweet Lala right now in Legends and Tournaments, but I wanted to bring this uh, video for you guys so you still have the chance of using this strategy with a few new tips that I can give you. Now, the king's gauntlet glitch is patched so you cannot use it you need to pop the king super early otherwise you can see you're not actually going to use his rage the gauntlet a lot you know if you don't pop it early you're just gonna waste it simple as that now the town hall is low we have the frozen arrow on the queen on the level max but i dropped the champion to clear the top side when the hisui is clearing this side so then my haste vial on the champion which is the best ability currently for the royal champion with this army can clear literally the rest of the base because look not popping the ability yet now i'm gonna pop in and look at this haste vial it's just insane like the moment the defense is targeted, the fox is going to make it invisible. And the good thing about the haze vial is that it actually moves so quick, so the fox is always at the back. It's not like the ricochet cannons are going to hit the champion and get the fox as well. Sometimes that's how the fox dies, but that is how simple this can come up to. A nice little super archer blimp. You need to make sure you take care of the electro titan the way I told you to. If you're using a warden ability blimp something i want to mention on the next hit which is going to be a tough one but you still need to take care of that electro titan in another way now we are on this base and maybe a lot of you have seen this there is a lot of variety of these bases around but look at the bomb towers back in you know before the update you could have blimped it you could blimp in a way to land between these two gather the bombs and get the town hall pull the cc but no one thing you cannot do is exactly that. So what I'm here to showcase is back for Tunnel 15 where we use the Warden ability with the Blim. I haven't done that for a long time, guys. Trust me. But here, you can see the core value we can get with the Warden Eternal Toe. That's why we're going to go ahead and land in the core. Now, one thing I kind of forgot about the whole idea of this is that the other left hand side had more space you can see i cloned into empty area that is a mistake by me because the right side has only one tile gaps it's literally here this is a small gap but on the other side is double tile 
you need to land in here and clone to the one tile so you don't find giant bombs. If you land in the one tile just like I did and clone just like I did, you're going to find a bomb that is going to hurt your archers. Simple as that, but we got the value. The only worst thing is that we didn't pull the CC, which now we're going to pull it. So the good thing was, if the CC, let's say it was here, or anywhere on this like area and you're landing here with a warden ability this is where one archer in around this corner would be a nice thing for you because the titan will not go to the warden that is here it's too far from the titan the titan will actually go up because the archer is being dropped right there to change the titan pathing and everything is invisible here the warden is further than the archer that's why you drop the archer early on but if you're doing a no warden blimp you never know where the titan is gonna go just because of the way you saw on the last hit he was doing a bit weird stuff it was coming back and forth and going here going there so it's all Always a good thing to then decide what to do with the titan when you're already doing the super archer simple as that a nice little tip for you now here is where you can see the root riders were wrong one of the root riders died these are the hp like nerfs guys otherwise my root riders would have been alive some of them actually separated but here is where i'm gonna pop the king ability going through this area giving the queen access to the town hall and then once i see the value that they are going to get i'm going to go with that freeze and the royal champion on the top side to clear the side defenses that are here i don't need the champion to go to the core king is already doing that queen is already there too so no need for that you can see how already this works with the eternal tome if you cannot get that short blimp value we had a poison tower as you saw we can see it again there was a poison tower here no short blimp access really there's a poison tower here two bomb tower so no short blimp for the town hall there's a lot of empty spots around the cc and you saw there's a titan so no blimp in front of the town hall everything is cooked you need to go for a blimp for the core and how you do that is a warden ability blimp but for the rest of the attack do not worry because the king's gauntlet is patched you don't actually need the warden ability with the sui that much anymore you know it's just a problem with the root riders you need to make sure they stay alive now the next base is this ring base and you all know this man like this ring base is so popular but the thing is i really wanted to hit it the way i always hit it and see if there is a difference this is the key thing about today's video can you hit a base just like you used to and is there a difference of course there's gonna be traps here i don't want to go further this is always where i land and then double clone close to the core where there is bomb towers you can see if you die you die man if you get that bomb tower and you're close to it you will lose that archer so don't go too close to the bomb towers guys it's risky now i dropped that invis a bit late just to get the most value out of our archer clone because there is no scatter shot that can one shot us there is no multi infernos and our hp for the archers were quite a lot so that's why you can go with a late invis to get more value but one thing is for sure I did get a bit less value than I normally would have gotten. I would get one more Rukushi Cannon and damage one of these Archer Towers. But now, we're gonna start the push. This is where that Rukushi Cannon can hurt us, but I didn't want to keep that Rukushi Cannon for the back end and start into the lower damage area. Because the Queen was also full HP, you can see the RC is low HP. You need to start into the damaged area with the more like HP hero, not a very less damage area with less HP heroes okay you can finish on that area now here is where guys honestly we have literally one root rider alive and it's actually going to die too what i used to do is i drop one root rider on this mortar it will stay alive for longer and actually take down the mortar you can see already these things are not working anymore so that one root rider before the update would have gotten the mortar for me but it didn't do it in this attack that's why you can see the differences but now the king's glitch come in handy before the update it would destroy everything and everyone but still doing it here and now the phoenix bring him back you can already see with that glitch this is where now he would then become normal then he would die then he would go to phoenix you know there is a lot of difference now without the king's glitch in a core of a ring base but you can see we're not like crushing crushing the base but the base is still gone so 
the value we got with the Super Archer was decent. Like, you know, a single Inferno, Spell Tower, two Expos, and a Ricochet Cannon. But then the heroes carry the base, of course. Now, this base is closed, so don't be afraid of using that Root Rider here to add Barbarians inside the base. Don't be afraid to add Barbarians more to the side, keeping your champion safe and sound going through the area that the Queen cannot reach. Queen is around these areas. She's not going to reach these defenses that are further from him. That's where the champion comes. And don't forget the key thing about starting into the area which has more damage. So you pop early warden, you do whatever you want, but then the back end is going to be easier to finish. Simple as that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I mean, I really wanted to show one of my fails, but the fail was with a stone slammer. Actually, let's go ahead and watch it. Why not? Now, this is the base right here. It does look a bit familiar to the base that I just showcased you on the two previous attacks, but look at the way that I'm going to be looking for my blimp here and I cannot find it. I didn't have a blimp in this attack. Like I had the Sui Lalo army, so there's blimp, stone slammer and battle drill in my like um, siege barracks, siege machine or whatever, like the workshop. But now you can see I wanted to look for the blimp. There is no blimp. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm just going to have to go with a stone slammer, I guess. So I drop a stone slammer and this is where this stone slammer is not even gonna go that far simple as that like this is the first mistake i made with this super archer but i'm going to give you tips look at the hound i'm gonna pull it up just because there is archer towers and stuff for my archers to target but the hound stops because there's a tesla on the top side now is where you can pull the hound to the lower side pull the hound inside the invisibility if I pull the hound again to the top side, that's where my archers would have followed the hound and get absolutely zero value from that super archer blimp. I've seen in tournaments a lot of people when they want to pull the hound, they do these mistakes. You need to pull the hound wherever like it can walk through the invisibility spell of your own. Now, this is where I wanted to put this army in test. This is the big test, right? Can we go through the entire opposite side of the base with all our root riders that got nerfed? Are they able to make it all the way to this little wall that needs to be open? Simple as that, man. That is how it comes down to the nerf to this strategy. Otherwise, the heroes are good enough to clear the base. But we're going to see. Now, going around this base is always about how you drop the barbarians on the top side to keeping these defenses out, the buildings out, so nothing really path to the outside and everything really goes to the core. But you need to make sure you don't use too many barbarians. You can see already... I don't need more barbarians. I'm not going to use them. But there is Teslas here. And I believe there is one more Tesla on the lower side. I'm not too sure. Yep. There is one more there and one more here. These are the those useless Teslas that people put for timing. Now, this is where this is the next mistake. Dropping the champion here is where I made a mistake. I needed to wait. Let the king's gauntlet get this area. Then drop a champion here. So now she goes around the base. You know what I'm saying? So here is where she can go to the core. Just because of that invisibility spell, we couldn't get the town hall in time. So the champion will be going to the town hall poison once these town halls is down. And I, I told you the mistakes I made was with the blimp and with the champion drop. And that is how you can easily then fail because the king's gauntlet glitch would have worked so good for you. But the only thing about a super archer that I would tell you to change is the way you land your blimp. Do not land on bomb tower. Do not land on areas where there could be double giant bombs. They are so much weaker now. And I believe, I haven't tested it exactly, but I believe they can die to one giant bomb and a maxed bomb. So simple as that, man. Like, for real, that is how you can easily fail. So go with a less risky area with the landings. And you still can go from opposite side. Just don't make the mistakes that I made on this attack. You saw on the last previous attacks, we always went from the opposite side. But still, we managed to get the triples. The strategy is still quite viable and it's very, very strong. But I'm bringing a new version of the super board. So if you want to see that, stay tuned because it's an interesting one. So hopefully, I'll see you there. Take care and peace.